Ixion might be hard. You should manage population, storage, production, fleet and even weather impact. But if you follow advanced tips, the game becomes much easier. This is Aiming for Gaming and today we are aiming for top 15 advanced tips in Ixion. Upgrade your tech lab as soon as you can, because the boost from upgrade is insane. By default, tech lab produces 1 science point every 30 cycles, but even the first upgrade will change it to 3 science points per 5 cycles, literally boosting its productivity by 18 times. You'll need these points, so this is a big deal for sure. Mess Hall also has several huge upgrades, starting from the number of people Mess Hall can feed, followed by invaluable change to number of fat people per 1 meal. You'll save tons of food if you upgrade it to its full potential. With mess hall upgrades you'll have to upgrade your crop farms anyway, but remember that they are not as efficient as algae farms and mushroom walls. Algae farms use less water and produce more food, while mushroom walls use waste to produce food. Which is great, because your buildings will eventually generate a lot of waste, but we'll talk about that later in this video. Researching DLS Center unlocks powerful policies that can be applied to each sector separately after you build a DLS Center in it. Policies can improve stability in the sector, allow waste collection for industry and food sectors, and also many other cool things. You can specialize your sectors by placing enough buildings of a specific type. These bonuses are good and will help you a lot. To check the building specialization, look at the icons on its description. Crew quarters can be upgraded to host much more people. Also, you can unlock much bigger buildings that can host even more people. Just plan out your layout so that first quarters are always in pairs, because top quarters are exactly twice as big. You can improve your mining and cargo ships' chances to sustain bad weather conditions by researching appropriate ship upgrades. This might save your ships in situations when they should get inside those annoying harmful places. This is almost as scary as that. Roughly 98% of you watching this video are not subscribed. If you like my videos, please press like and subscribe button. It takes only one click and will help my channel grow. Thank you all for your support. Unlock steel mill as soon as possible for steady alloy supply. At some point you'll stop finding alloy on planets, so you need to establish its production for yourself. You can boost the iron to alloy ratio in steel mill upgrades. Unlock and construct memorials to gain permanent stability boost. Remember that each memorial can boost stability of a specialized sector even more if you research that upgrade. Build several batteries to supply your sector's production for several cycles when your base is moving. Sometimes it can even save lives, believe me. If you are tired of manual repairs, I have good news for you. Workshops can repair your buildings automatically, just research it. You can save some resources by min-maxing your prop scanner target area. Just find the zones with more resources highlighted by moving your mouse around a bit. Consider adding a sector responsible for storage. It's much easier to control the flow of resources if they go through the main hub. You can swiftly prioritize consumer sector when you need something anyway. You can migrate specific type of citizens if needed. Just choose which type you need in migration menu. This will help you in sectors which only need workers. You can unlock better stockpiles which can store three times more resources. They are twice as big compared to initial stockpiles and have better work to resource ratio. Write in the comments which tip was the most useful for you and why, it's important for me. These tips will make your life much easier and next time we'll aim for more, so try to not miss it and see you later!